one. Hello guys, this is a video to show um, a project that I'm making for a while, okay, and it's on MDD, okay, Model Driving Development, using Eclipse, okay. So, uh, let's start doing something here. I'll put here an initial state, of course, the generating code behind it it's made by myself i'm not showing in this video okay so initial state and um, another state and i'll put the transition here just wait a minute between this initial state and this state one okay for now let's save it okay this is the model uh, the module and I have a transformation which uses this model here, so I'm running this transformation okay, from model to text to the language, uh, to the PHP language. Okay, as you can see here, we have a state one and it just came as a, a comment okay because it have nothing special on this state but uh, in my my code here i don't know if you can see it's a state machine i think you already know it and i'll uh, extend this uh, state machine with my profile okay and i'll put for example form Okay, it will be a formulary, and it cannot be anything. It cannot have this name, but it needs to be something that already is ex exists in my model. Okay, so I'm coming to my custom code here, and I'll see, for example, this this class here, user login frm. Uh, change the name here. User login FRM. Okay, and I'll save it. And I'll execute this code here. PHP V3 code. I have many, many other transformations which I think maybe I'll. Uh, show you, show you in another video. Okay. Just wait a little bit. It, it will compile and okay. I think I for, I forget saving before running the code. Ninety nine percent compiling. Okay, so this is my, my code, the code for that form, okay, and I can receive the information which is in this class, this class here, it's defined uh, as the properties, okay, attributes for this class. You can get these attributes as uh, variables here, okay, as JSON or from a request, from a regular form request, because I need this application after to be running, for example, on Android and on online. Okay, never mind for now. And here you have a um, if condition, and if this condition is false, I'll show the view. To this user, okay. As you can see here, uh, this code is not so beautiful, but uh, the um, uh, say objective of this part here, just showing the view to the user, 
I'm not going to run it, okay, and don't have, for example, this, uh, this thing here in the beginning of this code, as you can see. So it's not for running, it's just to show you how it works, okay. And I'll put another state here, for example, after showing the form to the user and getting uh, grabbing the information from the formulary, maybe I want to make a selection in the database, for example. I can use the same name or a different name, okay. If I use the same name, it will uh, user login fr m probably it will show that I'm using the same name to, to states which is not good okay but you're free you can use the way you want you can apply uh, the select here to this form and using a transition Okay, so I'll, in this case, I'm, I'm selecting the same information. Okay, so this state here is representing a class, which is some kind of information which you can get from the database. Okay, or set of of set of informations, a set of vows that you can get from the database. And in this case, it will make. Oh, uh, generate a code to make a selection here. Okay, I'll save this. And I'm not generate. Okay, I'm not generate from this this name here. I'll generate for some uh, DB. Okay, which is a view from the database, and it have the user and the system. Okay. It's like if I'm going to select uh, the user and join, inner join the system, okay? Uh, I want to advise you that this code, okay, this code here is uh, not completely ready, okay? So it has some problems. And in this case here, it will not generate the join, okay, but I will work on it and maybe I will publish after it on the internet. So while it generates, it's still generating, and I'll not save this version, okay, I'll, it's not safe as you can see, so I can keep going and save after. This state I can put is as a regular state, for example, check the user uh, credentials okay, check the user credentials I don't know why it's showing it's wrong but I'll, I'll put his name here check user credentials it's not showing any errors here. And I'll put a profile and, and I hope you understand the meaning because it's like an if. Okay, so I want to check two different things. Okay, and what, what I'm going to check is this equal to this. Okay, so let's come to this first state here, which is the same. Of same name of this is it's called user login frm okay and this will be user login db okay Okay, this transition is not, um, I have to say, not needed. But in this code, it's this way. In this version, this code is this way. Because if I have 
many different things here and I want to uh, check let's see for so I click this and this will be as an object so it should it could be also as a variable or as an attribute whatever <coughs> okay and then I'll put this transition here okay and I'll show you the results of the previous previous code the previous uh, transformation as you can see it have a selection in this table user model okay and the, the wrong thing that I told you before is that it's making a selection on a system okay but it's not joining so basically this this code should be you know select join from the the user and the system okay and then getting the the password and the, the state enabled and also it's not uh, setting anywhere conditions here okay which i, I plan to to make after but it also uh, I have to say, it's something that I, I can show you right now. Okay, I have something which I can show you right now. Um, a good practice on this code generating is to get a name, okay, maybe a number on each transition, so if you need to uh, debug it after and. Um, Maybe in the code generating, maybe you can find some problem, maybe because of some uh, transition, because maybe if you delete, for example, if you have this and the transition, for example, and you delete this object here, this transition will be uh, remaining in the model, in this, this, this file here, this XML file here. Okay? XMI, sorry. Never mind. So let's save it. Okay. And after checking it, I want to have two, um, let's say, two actions. Two actions. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. I need to have two actions, two different actions, okay? For example, sending the user to the, the page user login a success, a success page, okay, a succeed page. And in this case, a red flag user to fail. Okay, so I'll use one transition here and one transition here. Okay, and this will be when, when this condition is true. So I need to extend this okay, with a stereotype. True. Okay. It's when the condition is true. Default you don't need. Okay, but if you want, if you think it will be more clear for the reader, you can click here and click in profile and use the false stereotype here. But it's not. Uh, it's not needed. You need have one true and the transition going by true will be uh, in the, the true condition of the generated code okay? because it, it will be generating um, an if, okay? if so let's run this code I saved it <coughs> I saved it and I will run this
and then I'll show you that I have this, this, this that's here, okay. uh, the login from the, the request or from the, uh, the JSON, okay. so request also, of course. Uh, if the user name is equal to this from the database and the password is equal to this from the database, okay, you'll be... Oh, I, I missed something here. It should be a redirect, okay? So let's put the correct um, stereotype. It would be um, redirect. Directing. Okay. Profile. Redirect. Okay, so this is basically everything, okay, and it's basically, it's everything from this video, okay, it's everything from this video, and in future videos I'll show you how to make another, uh, another codes, uh, another kind of code, okay, this is from uh, behavior, um, behavior module, okay, behavior UML module, but for structural modules, it's very uh, easier, okay, I think it's easier, the generating code is also easier, okay, and it saves you a lot of work, in general, if you have some tables, 5, 10, 20, whatever you need to make, a database you need to make it make a screen and you need to make the communication between uh, this these forms and something online uh, it will save you I think I believe it can save you a lot of uh, time okay so that's all for this video okay bye bye